you are presenting today in this session. Yes, would love to hear your feedbacks and comments. Thank you. <laughs> Like this is the first time I feel I'm so close to this city. Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new apartment. Today I will bring you along with me for a busy conference day. And I also want to share some thoughts on living in this new place. Cause you know, living in a new place is kind of like starting a new chapter of life. After I have my breakfast, I come back to my room and listen to the first panel of the day. Uh, thank you uh, to the organizers of uh, the I just finished the morning section of the conference and I need to make a quick lunch and prepare for the afternoon section, which would be the session that I'm going to present. Let's see what my flatmates are doing. Oh, it's blurry. Hi. <laughs> I'm a bit awkward. Um, How's going with your presentation? Oh, it sucks. I just realized that we're gonna present at the same time yeah. in different Zoom rooms, but in the same space. He's in the living room, I will be my, in my room at an innocent conference. I'm nervous, but excited as well. Jess, what are you doing? I'm building my portfolio so that I can apply for more jobs. Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna make my lunch. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> I feel like the tension and the, yeah, the, the tension is like in the house. Why does conference schedule is usually that busy? Tight. Back to back to back. The nation could actually strive to make I, I found this background yesterday and yesterday I was thinking like whether this background would be too cool for a presentation in the conference, but I mean you can do whatever you want, so I just choose it anyways. I just feel that the whole experience having conference presentation on Zoom, it's just feels like live streaming. We are having multiple live streaming in different virtual rooms. So that's interesting. Um, but anyways, I need to join the se session, I guess. Hi, so you're presenting today in the session? Yes. All right, uh, let me see if I can share my screen. Yes, we can see them. Yep. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Um, hi everyone, this is Zing. I'm a first year PhD student at the University of Melbourne. As you can see from the title, I'll be talking about, so that's all from me. Please let me know if you have any questions and I would love to hear your feedbacks and comments. Thank you. Thank you very much, Zin. So now after we have all three presentations, uh, we have a possibility for our audiences to ask questions. Thanks for the question. Theoretically, I, I, I don't think it has a very like long history. I just see some, some scholars uh, mention these terms in their research, but they didn't really fully like, unpack this idea, like what it means like. I hope that makes sense. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, uh, to me, it does make sense. Thank you. And let's finish our session for today. Thank you. Oh, I am done. I am done. <laughs> How is everything? Um, I was very nervous and I make it very clear that it was my first time and then I got compliments from a professor from Monash University saying that I did pretty well so that's that. and everyone asked me questions that I can't really answer so I was just like okay me okay, too like, me yeah, too I hope that makes sense um, it was a disaster but it's done no I, I heard I Answering questions. I'm also hearing you answering questions. But I'm I, happy that we're done. I want to see your session. Is it still any sessions going on? We'll start on the first slide. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna. Hey guys, I finished the conference today. After I finished my presentation and all of a sudden, I don't know what to do. Maybe I was like too stressful this morning, also too busy checking all the sessions. Suddenly I finished the presentation and the conference over. It's actually not over because tomorrow and on Friday they're still going on, but I don't have anything 
else to do for the conference today and it's like a big release even though i have an essay that's due in this weekend i need to go back to my essay but i kind of want to take a short break right now and let my brain to relax for a little bit i'm still very glad that um it just feels like release you complete something like the kind of release that you have done something and I think it went well. As for today, I think I would just like go out for a walk. After I moved to this place, Melbourne is not a place, but more like a real city because I'm surrounded by these tall buildings. Like this is the first time I feel I'm so close to this city. Guys, I'm back. I just want to briefly talk about how I feel after I moved to this new apartment. So basically, at first I'm not that used to it. it. Like the whole environment is so new to me. I didn't have that kind of experience of living so close to the city. I mean, the city. It's just very different from the experience that I had before. Even though it's still in the suburb and it's not in the central CBD, it's um, on the other side of Melbourne the whole environment and the vibe and the kind of feeling is just different the people you meet on the street are different so it took me a while to adapt to this whole new environment even though i didn't move to other city but it just kind of feels like a new city for me so i guess that's part of the benefit of moving um, to a new place because you get different kind of experience also get close to a different place and learn about culture and other stuff and you can also have a lot of opportunities to explore new places that's very excited and also when i was walking down on the street i was surrounded by all these tall buildings and then i can see all the lights like shining in these tall buildings and I use my camera, I can zoom in to see the windows and see those office um, desk and people working there, working hard. And it also gave me a kind of feeling like I were in Beijing. Beijing is like somewhere I have been living in for four years. And it's the kind of very familiar, but also very strange feeling that I have about living in the city. The city just gives you a kind of feeling that like how small we are as a human being. You are standing there and all these buildings, they are taller than you and then you can't see the top of it and then you just realize that how small you are as a human being, as a person, as a part of this city in this society. But yeah, kind of culture shock for me. Then I go to the kitchen and make myself a dinner, cooking this river snails rice noodle that I got from Asian grocery store. And I have my dinner and also catch up with my flatmates for a little bit in the living room. Can you smell the noodle? Mm. Is it very strong? No, it's okay. <laughs> because Mark cooked me once too. Do you like it? I do. Hmm. I find it very comforting to have rice noodles with soup in the winter day. Especially when you have done a lot of things today, you want to relax and then you have this noodle. Life is good. Life is good. Good, good, good. Following the dinner, I chill for a while and do my night routine. And then I jump to the bed and work on my essay. That's pretty much the end of the day. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Good night.